It gets hot in the Las Vegas Valley Desert. Really, really hot. So how do I like my Dakin Split System 24,000 BTU air conditioner? Let's find out. Well, the short answer is, is that I love this system. Now I chose a Dakin brand system and the reason why I chose it is because before I installed this system myself, I got a couple of estimates from two of the most reputable companies in Las Vegas and both of those companies use Dakin. So I think that's kind of a testament. Las Vegas is a very hot, very arid climate. Over the past month, we've had 100 degree plus temperatures every day. For the next rest of the month, we're going to continue to have 100 plus degree temperatures throughout the day with the overnight temperatures hovering at around 90 degrees. Now you can imagine that would be stifling inside of a workshop like this, but so it's probably the best thing that I've ever done for this workshop. A large part of the reason why I'm happy with this system is because I think I sized it appropriately. I used a calculator online called calculator.net, and I'll put a link to that below so that you can do it if you want to, and that allowed me to not only go by square foot, because the square foot of this building is 660 square foot, but it has a couple of other things mitigated aggravating circumstances that you have to take into account when you're calculating BTU or you want to come up with the right sized unit. Now what are some of those aggravating and mitigating circumstances that you have to take into consideration over and above the raw numbers that the calculator is going to give you? Most other calculators just allowed me to put in the square footage and they would calculate it off of that. And for those figures, it would give me a size of 18,000 BTU. But this one allows for different things like ceiling height and also the insulation condition and sun exposure and the climate of your area. And it gave me a BTU rating of 22,015. Nearly a 4,000 BTU increase over considering square footage alone. In addition to ceiling height, another aggravating feature of a building Building that would increase your BTU needs is it being a detached building. My workshop is totally detached from the house. It's a freestanding building meaning that all the walls get access to the heat from the outside air. And so this makes it less efficient because the system has to fight radiant heat from all four sides. My shop also has one, two, three, and we're going to go over here and look at number four if you count the bathroom, and five windows if you count the garage door. Windows are good conductors of heat, and they, along with two doors, allow for the ingress and egress of inside and outside air. Some mitigating features of the workshop is that it has 8 inch thick walls. It's got 2x6 interior studs filled with premium insulation. On the outside it's sheathed in 5 8 inch plywood followed by almost an inch of stucco. And on the inside it's got 5 8 inch drywall. The windows are low E double pane. The garage door is insulated to its full thickness. The attic is fully insulated and vented. So all things considered, I chose the 24,000 BTU unit. The 18,000 would have been too small. Dakin doesn't make anything in between, so that made it easy. Now I had watched a video before I put my system in and I tuned in on somebody who put one of these split systems in their workshop. Their workshop was their garage. Now it was uninsulated and it had a regular metal garage door, no insulation, and he sized it per square footage. In the end, he said he didn't like his system because it wouldn't keep his shop cool. What I'm saying is that he probably didn't take a look at some of those aggravating circumstances, but all hope is not lost. All he needs to do is take a look at where he's missing insulation and insulate the walls. You can actually do that while they're drywall. They have a machine that can pump the insulation in there while it is still covered. Take a look at your windows, take a look at your weather stripping, attic ventilation, as well as the insulation up there, and maybe he can improve the efficiency of the building to match power of the unit. So you don't want to undersize your unit and get too little air conditioning for your space because your unit will always be running at the very highest level and your room will never get cooled off to the temperature that you want it. So why don't we take a look at today's temperature. I had turned on the unit this morning. It's about noon, the heat of the day. So we'll see what the temperature is on the inside, see if it matches thermostat to the unit. I set the temperature to 78 degrees this morning and let's go and take a look at what the actual internal temperature is. And as per usual, it is 3 degrees under the target temperature. This unit is slightly oversized, but my unit also has, it's got an eco feature that allows you to hit that button and what it does is it just knocks all the power requirements down to the unit, slows down the compressor, knocks down the output of the air handler, and operates at much more efficiency. And what I usually find is that it still is 1 degree above 
above the temperature setting, which is just about right. And I feel comfortable that it's operating at a very low level and saving me energy as opposed to having an undersized unit that would be pumping out at max capacity all the time, struggling to keep the temperature in the comfort zone. So we've given it about an hour since we've hit the eco mode on the thermostat. So let's go over and take a look at the temperature now and see if it is indeed one degree below the target temperature. And it is. So this remains consistent whether it was in the spring when I first installed it or today in the very heat wave that we're experiencing in Las Vegas. I'm happy with it. In a word, if it was 110 degrees out today, I wouldn't be in my shop working on the camper van inside without air conditioning. It would just be too uncomfortable. And when I look back, I found that I did kind of avoid coming into the shop in the really hot summer months, and that really cut down on my enjoyment. But with air conditioning in here, I found that I really do love being out here more than I realized. It's a place where I can go to get away from the news of the day and all the bad things that are going on in the world. I like to reach that zen kind of phase where you block out everything else and you're just in the moment. Have you ever done that? This shop is where I do a lot of the filming for my little YouTube hobby. And I know that many of you are frustrated with my upload schedule, which isn't the most consistent. I'm not gonna make any promises, but it could be possible that's gonna improve. Whether or not it does, the easiest way you can save yourself frustration is to simply subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you can get notifications when new videos come out, and that makes the whole process frustration free. What I can promise is that I'll always try to keep it real for viewers and stay true to myself. I've had people tell me that my videos are too diverse from harbor freight to van life videos to workshop videos to how-to videos and while I appreciate the comments I will just stick to doing what I like to do. I'm not trying to be a star here. I guess you could say I'm more of just a natural born teacher who likes to help people by showing them how to do things. Now for those of you who follow my channel, you know I had just completed a video where I installed this unit myself. I ordered it off of Amazon, I ran the electricity out to the site, I placed the condenser, I did all the work myself, and I saved about $7,000 in doing it. So if you wanted to take a look at that video, all you have to do is go to my home page and do the search feature, look for split system, and you'll probably find it. In the meantime, I'll try to put one of those those fancy boxes up there that you can click on within the video and get to it but I'm not the most tech savvy guy. I know for a lot of you it may seem like a very daunting task to do something like this yourself. Anybody that wants to DIY one thing that I would recommend you do is just start out with small projects and work your way up. Fix your doorknob, do a drywall patch, read up on electricity, watch some of these videos. That's where I got a lot of my information. That's where I got a lot of my skills is just by doing it a little bit at a time and building up confidence until I could tackle bigger and bigger projects. So this likely won't be my last update. Summer's gonna be over sometime and winter's gonna be here. Temperatures in Vegas can get to freezing and this mini split has a heat pump feature so it also pumps out heat and if I like it in the winter time, I'm gonna get rid of my pellet stove over there and keep this as my year round comfort machine. So if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe and ring the bell so you get future notifications. Thank you. Very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.